been choosing to take the high road and ignore all the little shady stuff and the little shady posts and all the little shady shit because my mama should be off by now okay um i've been choosing to be there but let me make something very clear okay and i'm saying this because i'm sure that the little fake profiles are watching anyway so you see me let me make something very clear my choosing to be professional to handle my business to ignore you does not negate the fact that i will whoop your ass and i mean that with everything in me period now you already know i've pulled up on you before before y'all <laughs> if melanie sheree rogers ain't got youtube and the blog sites in a chokehold child <laughs> oh my gosh melanie is on her today <laughs> Yo, listen, let me, let, listen, now I, now y'all know I had posted what she had said on her live. I didn't watch her live. I actually, what was I doing? I thought it was at the store or something because I had, I, I had a lot going on after work. So I got off of work. I got these next two days off, got the holiday off and the day after. And you know, once you know you got the next two days off or a day off after, you know, a long work day, you just, you just like, look, I just want to cook me some food, run me my little errands, and get in the bed. <laughs> and that was just my agenda last night, okay? But while I was in the bed, I kept getting notifications from my folk, and I'm like, what's going on? I had missed the lab. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was cooking because we got a cookout today. I think I was just, I, I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I was at the store. But child, her first live, I missed it. So... I had to be like, okay, what's going on? What's going on? Blog site's blowing up. My YouTube is boop, 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 boop with all the people that I follow. They posting stuff. And I'm like, what is going on? Child. <laughs> when I tell you Miss Melanie Cherie ain't here for the boo today. Oh, she ain't here for the boo today. No more. Okay, period. She tired of being quiet. She tired of just letting stuff just go. Now, for y'all who don't know what's going on, this is not the page or the time for me to go through everything. If you here, you already know. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't know, I'm need for you to go to one of my um one of my fellow peers um pages. Okay, hit up when Tay talk. Okay, hit up um chatting with QT. Hit them up. Okay, they know what's going. Watch David. Roll it all the way back. Because <laughs> there's been a lot going on. I'm not going to run through everything. But we are here today because we need to talk about how Arion done jumped off the 150th flow window and has decided that she just wants to go in with Miss Melanie as if she's on the same level as her. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Like, ma'am, go live your life. <laughs> go away from us with this apology. Like, what are you doing? Girl. I was all the way here for Melanie, okay? I've been feeling like that from the gate, okay? I will kick your... <laughs> Period. I will whip your... I will beat your... Look, I done gave you what you came here for, and that was that piece of a man. Now, go ahead on with that and live your life. Why are you still on me? Why are you still talking about me? Why are you still here about me? Why are you still plotting on me? What, what do I got to do with you? You wanted the man. You got the man. Go get the man. Have fun with the man. Live your life with the man. Go get married to the man. Go live your life that you thought that he was providing for me. Go live that. Have fun with that. Go somewhere. Move around. Why are you still over here? Child, now, when I heard the um recording um of original Straight No Chaser recording of Miss Arion, not only going with what Mr. Martel said with Queen Sheba when he said about this tape that he recorded mail and how he had used it to kind of intimidate her to try to get her from bullying him cut the crap okay after she done 
agreed and said, and yes, I have it. Yes, I can. And then since she could send it to the girl, I'm like, yo, ma'am, do you not know what you just, <laughs> did you not know what you just said? Like you just sat here and just said that I have access, I have in my possession a crime. <laughs> and I'm going to further with that crime and pass it on to you if you want to see it. I said, oh, this girl is slow. Do she not know having, having that can lead, can like lead her to being locked up? <sighs> Melanie. <laughs> file that paperwork boo file it now file it now <laughs> she probably already filed it okay we just probably we chun, she probably already did what she had to do okay the people's is coming okay what she say you're going to jail child so let's get into it let's get into it so obviously that recording had went to mail mail heard it and this is what she had to say now we're gonna go through it I know y'all seen this live. I posted posted it. Other people have posted it. But now we're gonna talk about it, okay? So let's talk. Let, let, let's let's hear what, what the queen Melanie Cherie had to say about the matter. Because just as much as we've been fed up, let's just be honest. She's the one that's dealing with this. She's the one that have the children. She's the one that has been subjected and a victim to the crime of having re revenge pee out here about her floating around. And, if I was the mistress or the second woman to a married woman and, I, and, I, and they done, why would I want possession of a video of your ex-wife and you having a sexual encounter? Why would I want to see that? I don't want to see that. <laughs> what, 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 what is it that you want that for? Why do you want that? I had to let that out because I was so confused as to why she has like, why would you want that? And then when Carson came out and said, listen, she told me that he wanted her to put this out. And I told her, nah, like that ain't that ain't what you need to do. So ironically, I was in the presence of the lady who I didn't want to get I'm like Carson. Look, I didn't want to be brought back that i knew and not been in your presence no because you ain't gonna you ain't gonna put me on the docket <laughs> no you ain't gonna put me on the docket you ain't gonna say i was used as a party to intimidate you know what i'm saying or to further try to bring this out to the no you ain't about to put me on the docket so i'm gonna let you know what it is and respectfully so okay but let's listen to miss mail because oh um, okay, first off, let me say, I can say certainly that for a very long time, a very long time, I've been literally sitting over here minding my business, not giving nobody no time of the day, not like just paying people does. Mama said, okay, I'm getting off good. Thank you. So I can speak freely. <laughs> she wanted her mom to get out so she can go ahead i'm sorry y'all i'm eating my lunch listen i didn't know this was gonna be blowing up everywhere so i'm trying to listen i'm eating my lunch okay i love you i apologize if you feel that it's rude i will not i would not talk with my mouth open full of food that's not something i will do but i will be eating okay period certain level of respect for your mama okay huh. so let me go ahead and say this real quick um, I have been choosing to take the high road and ignore all the little shady stuff and the little shady posts and all the little shady shit because my mama should be off by now, okay? Um, I've been choosing to be there, but let me make something very clear, okay? And I'm saying this because I'm sure that the little fake profiles are watching anyway, so you see me. Let me make something very clear. My choosing to be professional, to handle my business, to ignore you, does not negate the fact that I will whoop your ass. And I mean that with everything in me. Okay, period. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. That's what she's saying. Don't get it twisted. I may be, listen, I may 
may be all dolled up, hair done, body looking amazing, outfit tight, shoe game on crazy, out here living my life, being frilly and girly and the queen that I am. But please don't get it twisted. I can get hood with you real quick, gather you up real quick, and then go back to, to being my queen, my queendom, putting my glow on. <laughs> don't get it twisted, boo-boo. I ain't been out the life that long, is what she's saying. Don't get it twisted that you see me up here being pretty and frilly and, you know, just the girl and the doll that I am. I will get you together. I will get you in line. <laughs> you gonna get in line or I'm gonna put you in line. Now you already know I pulled up on you before. Before. And let me say this to the people who are on the whole, like, this ain't nothing about no man. Let me be this. Thank you, Mel, for saying that. Very clear about that, because I done got a couple of DMs. Like, this what he want. He want women fighting over him. This ain't got nothing to do with no man at all. I gave that up in 2020. This is 2023. I left him in 2020. Ain't been back since. So it has nothing to do with no man at all. I don't care about him. Don't want his attention. I don't need him. Don't want him. It has everything to do with as a woman, why do you continuously think that you're going to keep coming for me? Why do you think that? And here's my thing, <clears throat> Coleslaw. If you are that so much invested in her, then you should have cheated on Martell with her. <laughs> you so far up her, but JJ. You should have went out the mail now, Martell. Because you putting on, you listen, that just goes to show how pressed you are, okay? You thought the life that he was living with Mel, he was providing for Mel until you got with him without her and you saw, oh, you ain't got it. She had it. Okay, well, since she the one who had it and clearly you still on her, I need to hate on her too. Why? She around here acting like she was the wife and man was the side chick. I'm like, <laughs> girl, please move around. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? And any woman on here that's been in that position, I'm talking to you too. If you have been messing with somebody's husband and they give that man to your ass, take your ass on and live in Everland, Neverland, Everland, happily ever afterland. Go on and do your thing. Live your life. But to continuously, continuously try to keep coming at the once then wife that you was sleeping with her man, <laughs> her husband, that is whack, lame, and I'm not here for it. And listen, let me say this. I know some of y'all are like, but Mel, stay on your throne. You're a queen. And I'm still a queen. And I'm going to be queen when I finish doing what I got to do and say what I got to say. I'm going to be a queen and after that, before that, during that, and after that. Period. <laughs> Period. I can sit my crown down for a moment and go to battle. I can do that. Kings do it all the time. They sit their crown down, go to battle, and come back and still reign. I can do the same thing. <laughs> I'm going to put my crown down. I'm going to put my Louboutins and my Chanel over there. And I'm going to put on my Jordans and my sneakers. And I'm going to go to town. <laughs> and then I'm going to go take me a shower, get my beauty back on, and then go back and pick up my crown, my Chanel, my Louboutins, my Jimmy Choo's, and all the things that makes me beautiful. <laughs> Even more beautiful. Okay? Period. Period. I've been posting business deals and business stuff in between the mess on my store for the last two, three days. And have? That ain't gonna stop. That's not stopping. But what I am saying, y'all, is people have to learn to leave well enough alone. Quit bothering people if they ain't bothering you. Don't bother folks who ain't bothering you. My auntie just came on here. Auntie, go on and get off this live. <laughs> <laughs> auntie, go. <on. laughs> well, look, we talking, we talking cash money over here. Hold on, auntie. You got to go. My favorite auntie just got on here. Go on now. Exit. 
Go on now. <laughs> Don't bother people that ain't bothering you. Period. And this is what I'm on right now. I don't care. I really don't. I don't care. I don't give a shit. It don't. See, Ariel should have left well enough alone. She did not know this was in mail. She did not know that she was going to come out of her character and get in her act. <laughs> she didn't know that. She won't look. She won't plan it on that. She thought she was just gonna be able to parlay in her face, sit there, throw the subliminals, get on live and act a plum fool, try to talk, try to talk cash money like she talking about Martel. But girl, we really know who you're talking about. You're talking about Mel. And let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a bean and stop with the bullshit. Keep it. Look, <laughs> keep the same energy. It don't matter. It's I'm on what you on for real. It doesn't matter because I don't bother nobody. I sit over she here, doesn't mind my business, tell my Does. business, all the little snickery look. Make her money, take her trips, live in her laps of luxury. I have been ignored, so can't nobody come up here telling me what to ignore. Period. I don't want to ignore nothing. Huh. No more. And? You know what I'm saying? Right. No more. No I more. I already did it. I already did it. I don't watch. She don't watch countless of... Little mess all day long. She been watching. She been seeing, girl. <coughs> I know y'all didn't think that I was not going to come back. Because I'm back. It Just is. Like that. Now, okay. Listen, my point is, this is what I'm saying. When somebody's not bothering you, yeah, I'm back. When ain't nobody bothering you, who was that? It wasn't nobody. It was my phone. In her when business. ain't nobody bothering you, <laughs> Alone, leave well enough alone. Like at this point, didn't you get what you thought was the prize? Like, she got it. Didn't you get it? Woo. She got it. You wanted the man. You got the man. Go live your life with the man. <laughs> Period. Go ahead. Why are you still here? What? Why are you still here? Why are you still talking about me? Why are you still having? Things in your possession of me. Why? <laughs> move, move along. Like, move along. Yo. What you thought was the prize? She thought. Right? That's what she it is. It, right? She thought it was she until did. she found out. She so around along. and found out. And listen, folks got to learn to leave people alone. Because people, everybody has a breaking point. We all can try to do right. We can all try to, you know, when they go low, we go high. I already said you go low, I'm going to hell. And what we're not going to do is we're not going to have, then you thinking that you're going to just keep, none of y'all, I don't care, not just, not just her, anybody. <laughs> you Tisha. Not <laughs> Destiny, we know you still lurking behind the bushes. All oh, y'all, if you want it, come and get it. <laughs> Pull up. Talking shit and Mel ain't gonna respond because Mel will respond. But she I know what all y'all talking about. I'm ready to. Okay, Bunny Blue is on here. What's up, Bunny Blue? And I'm ready to. So don't get like don't get the whole business male professional pretty male twisted because I will beat your ass. Let them know. And that's for real. For the ones in the back. Back down. Leave me alone. Mind your business. Quit throwing with subliminals because everybody ain't slower than a fifth grader. So <laughs> like her. Through subliminals. Because every time you do, I'm coming to Beyonce's internet and I'm coming for your ass. Every and time. hopping on Blue Ivy's Wi Fi. Single time. Now I said what I said. I'm done saying what I got to say. Y'all can keep following me. Watch my store. Watch my page. If you Will. Pay for the drone, you know I'm here for you. Right <laughs> you know I'm still gonna follow me. Okay, I got your back. Now let's get into Miss Um Arion's response because we know she was lurking in the bushes. Okay, she gonna say first off, I wasn't even talking about you. I haven't spoken on you in over two years. That's a lie. That's a whole lie. For y'all who have not. Listen to the voice recording that was recorded of her talking to, I guess, the blogger, Straight No Chaser. Clearly, they don't like Mel over there. So, she went over there and started talking junk. 
And for you to sit here and lie and say, I haven't talked about you in over two years. Girl, you just talked about her the other day. <laughs> it's just slow. Do you not know how to count? See, this is what happens when a hit dog hollers. This hit dog, her, she hollering, honey. She hollering. And you're lying at the same time. Don't flatter yourself, teacher. Oh, so you mad about her? You mad that she got an education, that she's an educator? That she goes around and educate? Teachers are the most unrespected heroes of today. Don't your son go to school? or your daughter And your daughter, don't, don't they go to school? So what you disrespecting the ones that are educating your child? Because we know you ain't educating over there. But how to continue to be <laughs> a dog over there. Period. I'm not thinking about you. Yes, you are. You're thinking about her while you're not thinking about her. <laughs> I'm confused as to why you think I'm talking about you. Slow. Okay, so, so you're not talking about her. Okay, so who are you dealing with that was married to someone else outside of Martell? I mean, we know you out here giving it up, but are you giving it up to a lot of other people's husbands? And then for you to then agree that you got to take. I know Ariane know that that recording is floating around the internet. I know it's been sent to her over and over. I know it's been tagged over and over. She's well, uh, she, she's well aware of the recording. Some people say that she knew she was being recorded. I don't know if she knew or not. The girl is retarded. So maybe she knew and didn't care. But for you to sit here and try to say, oh, I ain't thinking about you. Girl, I ain't thinking about you in over two years. You a lie. And you a lie. And you a lie. A lie. You so bossed up, she is. And still thinking about Ariana. Girl, ain't nobody thinking about you. See, that's the thing. She wants to be thought about. She wants to be male. She wants to be the one sought after. She wants to be one. To, she wants to be the one that's desired, and it's not the case, girl. <laughs> girl, are you mad that your baby daddy, who you thought was gonna be yours after he left his wife, because he was he was so unhappy for them to him then be on national TV on Real Housewives of Atlanta, floating around with the next one, and then for us to see that he now dealing with someone named Belinda, girl. <laughs> You are still crumbs. Like you are not the you are not the entree. You're not even an appetizer. Girl, you're the crumbs that fell off the side of the mouth. <laughs> That's what you are. You're not dessert. You're not even the soup or the salad. <laughs> you're the crumbs. <laughs> What have I been saying for you to think I'm obsessed with your silly bad body? Bad, bad. Now she's bad, but having a bad body? Oh, you are. You have lost your marbles. <laughs> you have lost your marbles. Mel has had four children and she's still snatched with the best of them. Right here wearing bikinis out here out of the country. Places where you can only dream of. Places you only see on a on a <laughs> on your computer <laughs> on your computer's window saver. The slideshow they with, with the destinations. That's the closest you've been to where she's been. <laughs> Watching it on the slideshow on your screen saver. Girl. She's been places you would never be. Period. Including a wife. Go get you somebody, okay? Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> okay? You up here talking about millions. LOL, you filed bankruptcy. Okay, and... <laughs> Duh, like... Do you not know how many billionaires and millionaires have filed bankruptcy? That's what they do. See, because you're not a part of the upper echelon, you don't know what they do. You don't know how they keep their money. White people been doing it for years. White people been doing it for years. So much so that when black folks started doing it, they started changing the rules. But white people been doing it for years. They used to stack their house over with all this furniture, file bankruptcy on it, <laughs> and then start over. <laughs> That's the point. Duh. You 
Then she say, you and that show want me to wor be worried about you so bad, girl. The F bad, girl. No, that, no, you on the show. See, that's the point. You want to be on the show. You want to be on the show so bad. You and your crazy, dumb of the dumbest baby daddy want you on the show. You want those checks, don't you? Don't you? They haven't talked about you in years. In years. So what are you talking about? What do you want to be the topic of conversation? Every time this show air, you come out here acting like a monkey at the downtown zoo. LOL, pull up. Not today. Maybe next week when you have the kids and can get one of your 22 babysitters. Oh, so Martel out there pillow talking with you. You out there listening to Martel. Martel over there venting to you. Really? Me though, I'm out here being a mother to our five kids. It's family day. Holla at me after the fourth. We out having fun, bookie boo. Girl, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have pulled, look, it might not have been my week, but I would have pulled up that week. You and your, so you trying to, oh, 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 hour five, five, hour, so what's she trying, she talking about her son and Melanie's four babies? Oh, so Martel, you got that hooker in the midst of the kids? Really? Really now? Okay. I would have pulled. I would have pulled up. <laughs> I'm not waiting for you to pull up, baby. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up, and I, I, I for dare you to post them babies. I, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm, t ooh. child. Every everything in me would have kept me from off her ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God would have had to come down that day to keep me from off her ass. So then Melanie say, imagine coming for somebody for years on social media. And then they finally decide with everything in them, they're going to get, they're going to get your ass. Okay, period. First off, it's here. H-R. First of all, she up here. H-E-A-R. She up here trying to read and can't spell. You see here trying to get at mail for being a teacher, but your ass can't spell. Maybe you need an ass mail to teach you how to spell. <laughs> Secondly, ain't nobody saying your name. Last I checked, I did millions before I even knew you. Period. Talk that money talk, man. Talk that money talk. <laughs> talk that money talk. Talk that money talk. And girl, shut up. That's your problem. You talk too much. You want to holler. I don't even be shut up or pull up. Period. P I look, I told, I gave you the invitation. You going to take it or no? You going to take it or no? Somebody go get this damn dummy. I'll get her. <laughs> when your mouth gives you a check, your ass can't cash. Okay, period. And write you a check your ass can't cash either. I like I said, pull up. That should be her next discount code. <laughs> pull up. 15% <laughs> off the whole website. Pull up. <laughs> okay, period. And then she say, five kids. Where's your daughter, boo? So Ariel has two kids. She has uh Knox, who she had legitimately with martel the illegitimate son and she has a daughter so she said where your daughter boo or you don't count her huh or you don't know how to count oh that's right your father knows your whack okay her father knows your whack okay period period i know you triple sick so then arian say now y'all can see what's been going on in real life for years I could be talking about the sky and she gonna make it that I'm talking about her lace front. Delusional. Girl, ain't nobody. The only person that's delusional is you. You're the only one that's delusional. You went and had an affair with the married man. The married man is now free to do whatever he want to do. And because he don't want you, because you're not giving what he did quickly found out once Mel left his ass. How much of a how much she was carrying his ass financially, 
and offer him stability that he can't provide on his own. And you ain't nowhere near that. You ain't nowhere near that. Sorry to tell you, the most you can help pay for is those oodles and noodles and those boxes to help him pack his ass up out of that house. Because I heard he ain't got no more house to go to. <laughs> he ain't got no house. So he living with Marlene, Miss Marlene. He taking his own room. <laughs> Chill. I'm not mad at you, nor do I feel any hate towards you, girl. No, you're just obsessed. <laughs> let that go. No, we, what we about to let go is these charges on your ass. <laughs> That's what we about to let go. Me discussing you does absolutely nothing for me. You're the one who put me at the front of your show, then cry and walk off stage. Like, why you? Why are we discussing her? Duh, because you wanted to. You're the real dummy. How you feel now? Looking stupid, responding to something that has nothing to do with you. Bitter. Ain't nobody bitter, boo. Ain't nobody bitter. Do you, have you, I know you, I know you a stalker. So you've seen Mel's stories. You've seen Mel's posts. Cause you got all them little fake accounts. Where do you see bitter at? <laughs> if that's what bitter look like, sign me up. <laughs> I want to be bitter like Mel. Okay. I want to be jet setting. I want to be in Caribbean islands. I want to be in no crystal blue waters. I want to be sipping on tequilas. I want to be sipping on pina coladas. I want to be eating all that fine cuisine. I want to be parasailing. I want to be jet skiing. I want to be flying across the world. I want to be living in laps of luxury. I want to go to spas. I want to go to uh, massage parlors. I want to live in luxury, stay in luxury hotels for weeks and weeks on end. I want to get my hair done. I want to go out here and rub shoulders with the biggest bosses of the world. I want to be out here networking and doing my thing and dipping and doing and dipping and doing and having fine dining with these fine men. I want to do that too. Sign me up. <laughs> Wait, Mel, sign me up. Sign me up. <laughs> sign me up. Okay, I want to have all these businesses. I want to be on Money Making Mondays. I want to be doing all these types of labels and shipping all these orders and making all this money and living in that big ass house and sign me up. I want a G-Wagon. <laughs> sign me up. Hashtag sign me up. <laughs> Period. So let's 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 hear what, what the queen had to say about Miss Ariane thinking she did her big one with mentioning her bankruptcy. So listen, let me go ahead real quick because I just cooked me a really good Because she thought she had something. With potatoes She thought she carrots. did something without. Um, and I did some rice and I did some cornbread. Okay. Ooh. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. Let me get a plate. First of all, I want cornbread. I picked up my phone. And when I picked up my phone, I had a few text messages of some screenshots. I'm sorry. I said I would and not so talk with my mouth open. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep talking. Okay. That's what we're going to call Bird, we're gonna call her Bird. Tweet, tweet. Let me go ahead and address a few things because I know you on here under one of your little fake pages. So we're gonna go ahead and address a few things really quickly, okay? Girl, I want one. I know they be wanting these roasts, honey. Listen, first of all, ain't nothing bad bodied over here. Let's be clear. Come with something deeper than that. Like, come with something better than that. Any, that's the first thing lames want to throw she out. She can't. She's slow, Mel. She's slow. About somebody's hair. All that surface shit. Come with something deeper. Let's talk about your morals or lack thereof. Let's talk about your integrity or lack thereof. Let's talk about that. Okay? Let's talk about some stuff that actually has a little bit of substance. Now, Mel, she can't even spell here right. She don't know what integrity mean. <laughs> okay. Secondly, girl, you're talking about I filed bankruptcy. Bankruptcy, yes, sweetie. After your boyfriend filed. After he filed. So I didn't want everything to fall on me, not because I couldn't take care of everything. So let's get the facts straight. But I'm sure you have still continued to listen to all the lies that he gave. You know what? I finally understand why you was able to be a side chick for five years, because you dumb. That's why I didn't know how slow you really were. But you've been calling me slow for years on Beyonce's internet right here. And I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> but now I understand how you... Because she don't know nothing. 
She don't know how marriage works because she never been in one. When you're married and you have what they call it, it, at the at the bottom line, marriage is a business. That's really what it is. It's a contract between two people. Yes, it's love there. Yes, you build a family. But at the end of the day, it's a contract. That's really what marriage is. That's really what a marriage license is. It's a contract. So whenever somebody goes into debt, you kind of share that debt. That's why they call shared assets. When you file your taxes, you file as a couple. Like all of that is together. When you go into businesses to, together, both of your names are on contracts. Both of your names are on things. Both of your names are on things. So when one person filed bankruptcy, they're going to say, okay, well, we need to go get go after the other person. There's another person involved. So because she didn't want all his bad debt and bad decisions and bad actions and bad behaviors and not knowing how to handle his business financially because we see what he's going through now, okay? She didn't want that on her. I would have filed too. I would have filed first. <laughs> learn what he like <laughs> so she can learn what he like because she want a ring slow too baby girl matter of fact i'm gonna be honest if i was with a dude and he my man and he got a video of him with another woman and trying to show it to me send it to me anything me i would be like do you still want her can you stop but you know what? She she didn't ask that because Martell probably brought it to her like, oh, we gonna get her. And she brought that, oh, I got one up on her. I got this on her. This gonna embarrass her. This gonna take her out of here. This gonna remove her out forever. This gonna put her at the lowest of the low. Little do you know who you dealing with. Not talking about her. Why are you sending me this video of you and her? Like that don't make you think that like no, that don't register at all. Slow. Very slow. So, somebody said Mel got time all week and this week. So, since you said you can't pull up today, just know, baby girl, the doors are always open. And yes, I've already told my security that when they see you to pull up, pulling up, let you pull up. They got your picture. So, pull up. Any day of the week this week next go ahead and hit up martell ask martell what the ad is <laughs> martell give her the address you find a ride <laughs> matter of fact martell you take her because i heard she ain't got no combo so you take her martell to melanie's house drop her off on the front lawn and then you can leave because she already got away to the hospital when they called the ambulance <laughs> next week, whatever week. okay period I'm very much so here. And you know, your boyfriend know my address. So he'll give it to you, I'm sure. All right? 
mind your little girl ass business, stay in the little girl slow, concubine place. Ooh, not the concubine. As if you was the wife and you still ain't a wife, ain't doing nothing but bridesmaids. And, ooh, ooh, okay. ooh, ooh. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Okay. Mind your business. Keep me out your mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. Keep my business out your mouth. And keep my vagina and what I do with it out your mouth. Ooh. All of that. Ooh. She, she yeah. want the and vagina. Be, that's why. That's <laughs> why, ma'am. That's why, ma'am. you got what you thought was the prize, right? Don't make me have to come back over here on this internet today, but I will. Ooh. <laughs> and will all day long. Y'all. I, I don't know what's wrong with 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 slow slaw. <sighs> she 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 really asked and she woke up a sleeping beast and she did not know that Mel was on that type of time, but she definitely found out today. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this. Y'all always gonna stay in my comments either on TikTok or on my shorts because y'all definitely don't leave me comments under my videos. I don't know why, <laughs> but leave me a comment. Let me know how y'all felt about this. Let me know if. Coleslaw, slow slaw is delusional. I think she is. I very much think she, she was delusional when she first started messing with Martell, thinking that he was going to leave his wife for her. Child. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all enjoy this 4th of July, and I will be back as soon as something else pop off, because I got a feeling something going to pop off, and I would love y'all to be kind to next time. Y'all already know what time it is, honey. It is Chrissy time, and I will see y'all in the next video, okay? Bye!